I think after the scare of Paris and the bed bugs this year, we're all a little on edge and a little creepy crawly feeling about getting bed bugs and bringing them home when we're traveling. And it is something we should be aware of because they do happen. But there are steps that we can take before our trip, during our trip and after our trip to make sure we didn't bring home any souvenirs that we didn't want. simple thank you for coming to my channel today if you're new here my videos are all about home car plane or train I'll have you prepared for just about anything and today I'm going to have you prepared to not bring bed bugs back with you from your travel adventure the very first step in this is to make sure that your hotel or accommodation isn't on the bed bug registry. You can look that up online to see if anyone has posted any recent pictures of bed bug bites or bed bug residue like blood spots or exoskeletons and things like that to see if there's been a recent infestation at your accommodation. If it's something that happened maybe three or four years ago, they probably have taken care of it as long as there's not any other new postings but you just may want to call your accommodations first and say, hey, I saw this. I want to know, was this remediated? And have them give you an answer. If it's something where you're seeing recent pictures of something like, you know, people taking pictures of bites and bed bug infestation, you're going to want to call your accommodations and probably cancel and rebook somewhere else and work out some sort of refund from them so that you don't bring home any of these hitchhikers. The next step is a step you're also going to take prior to leaving for your adventure, and that is choosing your luggage and your packing cubes very carefully. And that brings me to the sponsor of today's video, which is Level 8. As many of you know who watch my channel, I have been using Level 8 luggage for a few years now, and I'm very happy with it. Their hard-sided luggage takes a beating and keeps on going but it's also the reason why I take hard-sided luggage is because this will help prevent any sort of bed bugs to come back into my home and hitchhike a ride home with me. For those of you who watch my channel, you know that this is my favorite piece of luggage. This is the one I carry most of the time with me when I travel, and I like it for several reasons. One, I think it's just a really smart looking, you know, carry on suitcase but it's also all aluminum and there aren't any zippers. If you notice on here, there are no zippers or anything for some hitchhiker to get on, some little bug to get onto my luggage and come home with me. So this seals well. There's a gasket here to make sure that this piece of luggage seals really well. So this gasket fits into here. So nothing is going to be able to hitchhike home with me with this piece of luggage so it's, that's one of the reasons why I chose this luggage from level 8. Another thing I like about the level 8 luggage is these panels are removable so if I find that there might be an infestation I can really look in here by just removing all of these they just snap out and I can take a nice close look and even put them in like you said a dryer just to get them to you know in high heat to make sure nothing's hitched hike along and this whole lining is nice and solid in here this way i can easily clean all this out if i see that there's been some sort of infestation and not worry about the rest of it hiding in my luggage but really any hard-sided luggage will be better than cloth luggage because those little guys will crawl into that cloth luggage and they can lay eggs or they can get into zipper areas and hitchhike a ride home with you. So for me, this is my luggage of choice, but really any of these hard sided luggages will be the best for you if you're going on a travel adventure and you don't want to bring home any hitchhikers. If you'd like to get this wonderful piece of aircraft aluminum luggage or any hard sided luggage for your next travel adventure, Level 8 is having a Black Friday sale for 20% off selected items. So visit the link and use the code BF20 to get your special discount. I probably have more packing cubes than anybody I know. And I know a lot of people, but let me show you a few and give you some examples of things I would use and things I would not use if I were trying to avoid a bed bug coming home with me on a trip. 
You'll want to avoid some packing cubes like this that have mesh in them. These mesh holes will allow bugs to get in and get through there. The tinier, babier ones can get through there and hitchhike a ride home with you. So better to use something that doesn't have any mesh like this. You're going to want to use packing cubes, something like this. Uh, these are by level eight and I use these all the time. I love how they fit in my luggage, but it also has a nice material that is water resistant and also they have these little tabs on here. So it lets me know what is in here like shirts or pants or whatever is in each of these packing cubes. So when they're sitting in the drawer and I'm not sure because they all look the same, what's what, I'll know by the little uh, Velcro tab on here what's in each of these packing cubes. So you wanna be able to do is get your clothes inside of these packing cubes and then keep this zipped shut. Once you get to your hotel room and you lay all of your clothes out inside of that drawer, keep this zip shut and that way bed bugs aren't going to crawl into that and get into your clothes and hitchhike a ride home. For those of you who like compression cubes when you travel, this is a great set that I use sometimes and this is by Tript. These are great because they are water resistant, almost waterproof material and of course they're compression so you can expand them and make them larger and compress them down but this is another great way once you get to your um, hotel room you can uncompress the bag so that's not smashing your clothes the whole time and then just leave this in the hotel drawer or something like that and then open it up get what you need and then zip that back up these are great they have a couple of different sizes and they also come with this dry bag now, this is great because if you happen to get a bed bug or you notice that there's a bed bug in your room and you've decided to leave and you don't know if they're in your clothes anywhere else, you're going to want to put anything that you've worn, let's say pajamas, slippers, things that might have been in bed with you or laying on the floor in this bag and you're going to want to seal this bag all up. And that way, this will keep this from getting over the rest of your clothing when you're trying to travel home or if you can take everything here get to a laundromat put everything in there and dry it on high heat and sometimes hotels or these efficiencies or airbnbs will have a washer dryer there just throw everything in the washer and dryer put it on high hot wash high hot heat get it cleaned including your packing cubes in at that point so if you have that option before you leave Make sure you throw all of these things in and get them washed so that at least you're coming home with things that are clean, as clean as possible so you don't get any hitchhikers. Even when I'm bringing my slippers, I will use a bag like this from Tript. What I like about it is I can put my slippers in here and that way, you know, I always like that my slippers are, you know, are in something that's nice and solid like this so that if there's any dirt or anything, it just doesn't get all over everything in my luggage. But this is another way that if you had some slippers and there could be bed bugs, this will keep it out of the rest of your luggage. Once you get to your accommodation, the first thing you're going to want to do is just take your luggage and put it into the bathroom. Some people say to put it into the shower or the tub. I don't think you need to do that, but I would remove my coat and hat and gloves or whatever loose clothing you have, put it on top of your luggage, put it in the bathroom. It'll be fairly safe there. Unless it's a really bad infestation, there's not gonna be stuff crawling all over the bathroom floor. Then you're gonna to wanna to go into the bedroom and check the beds. Lift up those corners of the sheets and pads or whatever's on there and check. Look at the mattress and look at the box spring. Look at the headboards. Look inside the side tables, inside of the drawers to see if you see anything there on top of the headboard and then go over and if there's a dresser or drawers, open those up and look into those as well. You're also going to want to make sure that there's a luggage carrier or some sort of solid surface that you can lay out your luggage so that it's not on the bed or anything like that because bed bugs tend to hang around beds where there's warmth of human bodies and food for them to eat, but they will travel if, if it's a bad infestation into other parts of the rooms, including baseboards and light sockets. So you might wanna take a look at those as well, especially those lights that are on the table next to the bed. Just check and look in there to see if there's an infestation or some sort of crustiness of exoskeletons there that's a sign that there could be bed bugs or there at least may have been bed bugs at one point. If you do see signs of bed bugs, 
immediately call the manager and tell them that you want a refund, that you would not be staying at that hotel. They should be able to offer you a refund because obviously you're not going to stay at a place where there's bed bugs and you'll have to work that out with them. And unfortunately, you're going to have to find yourself a new accommodation. Now you've gone into your hotel, you've checked for everything, everything looks clean, you've got your luggage on the luggage rack, you've got your clothes in your packing cubes, everything seems great, but now you've woken up with a couple of little bites, what do you do? Well, it could be that it's a new infestation and there wasn't a lot of sign of that and you may have some bed bug issue there that you didn't know about, what do you do now? Well. First of all, you've got to kind of confirm that it's bed bugs. So check again. Are there little blood bark bites and things like that? Blood marks on the sheets from where they've bitten you and things like that shows that there's probably a new infestation. It also means that anything you've slept on, like your clothes, could have eggs or larvae or something like that on it. And you're going to want to pack those things up separately from the rest of your clothing. You're going to want to put anything that you've worn, let's say pajamas, slippers, things that might have been in bed with you or laying on the floor in this bag and you're going to want to seal this bag all up and that way this will keep this from getting over the rest of your clothing when you're trying to travel home or even use that dry cleaner bag that's in the hotel closet, tie one end up, dump your stuff in, tie the other end and at least that way it's in a sealed bag so if there's something with bed bugs in it it will be separated from the rest of your luggage. All right, now you've come home and you've got your bag of possibly bed bug infested clothing. The first thing you're going to want to do is take your suitcase, everything you have that you've worn on that trip and get into your bathroom and put it into the bathtub and empty everything out there. And then you're going to want to take everything, including all of your clothes, your shoes that are washable, your packing cubes, anything washable, and you're going to want to wash it on high heat and dry it on high heat just to get everything killed to make sure that nothing else is left in here. If you have things like leather shoes or purses or slippers that can't go in the washer, you can put them in a bag like this and throw them in the dryer just to get some heat on them that will help kill them. Um, it just has to be something like over 125 degrees or something like that to make sure that those things will die and not spread all over your house. And then I would take the inside of your luggage and check through, wipe it out, something that has alcohol in it. Alcohol gets kind of into their exoskeleton. It helps dry them out so that they don't survive. And then spray the zippers. If you have zippers on your luggage, spray the zippers with alcohol. And then I would store those for a while, maybe in a garage or someplace where you know, you're not around all your other clothing or in your bedroom, just to be sure that nothing's living in that. And if you don't have access to a washer or dryer, get to a laundromat get everything cleaned immediately, put them in a black contractor's bag, get to a laundromat, wash and dry everything on high heat, and that way you can bring it home and have it clean. And if you're not sure about your luggage, if you've carried cloth luggage with you or fabric luggage with you, put those into a black contractor's bag. If it's summertime, get it outside where that black will attract the heat, get it hot enough to hopefully kill anything that could possibly be in there. And if it's winter time and it's really cold where you are, put it out in the cold for three or four days and make sure that the, the cold will kill those bed bugs as well. And so those are my tips for helping not bring bed bugs home, avoiding bed bugs, and hopefully getting them out if you happen to get a little hitchhiker on the way. Well, I hope I didn't creep you out too much with that bed bug video, but I think it was an important thing to cover because it does happen and I wanna help you avoid bringing them home or at least avoid having them infestate your home if you happen to get a little hitchhiker on the way. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more travel videos like this, let me know in the comments below. Until the next time, remember to juice life, drink the joy, keep life simple, don't bring home any unwanted souvenirs from your travel adventure. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.